Hi, Deb and Roland. My name's Brianna, and I'm with Tori R Digital Marketing. I'm sending this video because Roland had spoken with my associate, Sheila, and let her know that we could get it over to you guys. I'm making this quick video to give you tips on how to have your website speak Google's language to start bringing in more customers for you guys for free. If you're wondering why we're taking the time to do this for you, it's actually because I used to own my own roofing company here in Alaska, so I do understand that business owners reach a point where they're so busy running the business they don't have that free time to just sit at it and stare at a computer screen and try to keep up with the ever-changing rules of the internet and find a way to make the customers bring themselves through the door um, and we found the only thing holding owners back from hiring a marketing agency is they obviously don't know who's an expert and who's gonna be a waste of time and money so we found that by making these free attack plans and giving that value up front by giving them away for free there are still owners that reach back out to us and ask for help getting this stuff completed. So if after this video you see that we know what we talk we are talking about and we can deliver good results for you, then you can always give us a call back to chat. If you want to take the information and reprimand your marketing team that you told Sheila you have currently, that's okay too. This is just free education for you guys. Uh, I'm only going to be bringing up three topics today and it's going to be quick. Content citations and backlinks so I'm on the home page here and like I said the internet's ever-changing Google is constantly putting out updates sometimes monthly sometimes just bi-weekly um, so right now they aren't ranking based on the appearance you guys have a beautiful site your team did a really good job on it they got call to actions they've got forms it's good looking unfortunately like I said Google is not ranking you based on the appearance Google is using bots called crawlers and these bots are scanning the content within the site to try and find keywords to rank you for in the search results. So for Google, content is king. It's recommended now that you have a minimum of 1,500 words on the home page and at least 500 words on each back service page. You also want to use a rule of thumb, 100 words of content for every one keyword. Having your site set up like this does two things. It shows Google you're not a spam site and are actually an expert in the industry, and it has you getting shown by Google in more search results for customers because Google's finding more keywords for you. Uh, so I actually have a free keyword for you guys here that I'm going to use as an example, and it's Houston Roofers. This word is getting searched 1,600 times a month. It's a lot of roof jobs. Uh -huh. I'm going to ignore the Google ads, but what the first thing that customers are always going to see in a Google search is the Google Map Pack or Google My Business. To get this optimized, you want to add your company contact information, photos, and website. Once that's done, you need citations. A citation is an online directory like Yelp, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Angie's List, there's thousands. You want to have your information on at least 100 directories more than your competition and it'll start pushing you into the top three, which is ideally where we want to be. Now, if we continue down, these are the organic search results. The top five sites Google has in a rotation, it called the Google Dance for the first place. But we're not looking for citation pages, we're looking for a competitor, which is the Houston Roofing and Construction, who's also maintaining that first position here in the map pack. So I'll use them as your competitor for the remainder of the video. Here we can see how much content they have on their site that got them to that first place on that first page of Google there. Now on the other side of things, we use this tool called AREFs. This tool pulls up what's happening on the back end of a website. I have your site up and we can see your homepage strength is a 23. Your domain ranking for the entire site is a 12. You want this to be a one-to-one -one ratio. Now the domain ranking is made by backlink. A backlink is when another site online is linking to your site and driving traffic to you. Google loves the, comp uh, the competition on this, but not all backlinks are created equal. You want to make sure that you are linking to sites that are high ranking and relevant to the roofing industry. 
Currently, you can see there's been a steep drop off on your ranking because of some of the backlinks you have. And I did want to point out, you said you currently have a team. I see this a lot with marketing teams and they're getting complacent and lazy. The internet, like I said, is changing. And that means you have to stay up to date on the most current methods that Google is using to rank sites. These may have worked five years ago, uh, but these types of sites are junk sites. They're not bringing any traffic for you for one, and they're not related to the roofing industry. These are spam sites. So if Google isn't giving you very much ranking in keywords, it's because you have things that are in Honduras and places like that. They just aren't going to benefit your site. So I would definitely clean up some of the backlinks you have and have a conversation with your team because this is not giving you that return on investment that you guys deserve and are looking for. Right now you have 909 links coming from 254 sites. You have 477 keywords. And all of this is giving you about 286 traffic each month. Now if we take a look at your competitor here, we're going to see that they have a higher ranking for their site, which means what we can do, and they're doing it with less backlinks. So they have high quality links because they're adding some and it's increasing where they're going on keyword ranking. So what we would do is we take the best backlinks and put them onto your site called the copycat method. But it's really important we don't just match the competition because that would be half-assing a job. Um, we believe in full-assing it here. So we would go get even more backlinks that are relevant to the roofing industry and have high authority so you can actually beat your competition. So their 416 links are coming from 81 sites. They have those 873 keywords and all this is giving them about 536 traffic each month. So even if they're only closing half of the visitors to their site, that's still several hundred roof opportunities each month. And there is a big search volume happening. So getting up onto the very first part would do even more wonders. Now, a uh, quick recap, and this works not just for finding customers using keywords, it works for finding employees too. I know that COVID hit a lot of contractors really hard because people got lazy and just wanted to sit at home and collect a check. Well, there are still hard workers out there doing searches, and we can find those keywords to add to your site. That way you're able to get a strong work crew that's reliable and start getting in even more customer leads to really keep you guys busy, growing, and scaling. Scaling. So to speak Google's language, you're going to want a minimum of 1,500 words on the home page, a minimum of 500 words on each back service page, and keep that rule of thumb, 100 words of content for every one keyword. You want to get your information for your company put into as many online directories as you can, and you want to go get some high quality backlinks that are relevant to the roofing industry. If you guys do these steps, you'll be ranking number one across Google. I know this was a lot of information, and as I said, you can take it and apply it yourselves. This is free education. What my team is asking for is feedback because we want to be sure we're delivering good value in these videos. Now, if you did want help getting this stuff done because maybe this just gave you a change of heart on your current marketing team, give us a call. We can have a chat and see if we're a good fit together. And we can get your phone ringing off the hook with customers, employees, whatever you need. Uh, thank you so much for letting us send this video. Sorry it went a little long. Our partner will follow up in the next few days to get your feedback. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and you got great value out of this. Take care.